Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be looking some more at clocks. And you will see that um, the last video, I had to make my own clock off out of a paper plate because I didn't have my teaching clock with me. But you'll see that I made a trip to the school and now I have my clock. So we have my clock here, which is called an analog clock. It's kind of a, a silly name, right? So it's an analog clock. And an analog clock is one of the clocks that has the two different hands. That's what we call these arrows. This is a digital clock. A digital clock is reads the time right across the screen. There's no hands. There's no uh, like on numbers all around. It just says just the time right now and that's it. 12.15, right? So both of these things are clocks. They both tell time, but they show it in a different way. So we have a digital clock, and everybody knows how to tell time on a digital clock because you just have to look at it and read the screen. And then you have an analog clock, and these are this is what's in our classroom. It's on a lot of watches, although you might have a kid's watch that has digital time. But we are focusing on this kind of clock, our analog clock, and telling time on it. And as you remember from yesterday's lesson, an uh, analog clock has the numbers 1 all the way up through 12 on it. It has two hands. One is a longer one. We said that you can remember because we have the word minute is longer than the word hour. So it has the longer hand. Hour is a short word, so it has a shorthand. So when you are looking at the minute hand, you're looking at the long one, right? And the shorter hand is the hour one. So we started talking about telling time to the o'clocks, and we said, okay, when this minute hand, the longer one, anytime it's pointing to that 12, it is called an o'clock, right? So right now, we look up the minute hands at the 12, so we check out our hour hand. Our hour hand is pointing to the 1, so we would say 1 o'clock. Okay? And then tick, 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 the minutes go by, and one hour later, when we're back up at the 12, and now our hour hand's pointing at the 2. So now it's 2 o'clock. Okay? So if we're looking at our math book on page 716, this boy says, I eat breakfast at 7 o'clock. He's an early, right? So it says, this clock shows 7 o'clock. It does, because the minute hand, the longer hand, is pointing to the 12, and the shorter hand is pointing to the 7. This clock also shows 7 o'clock. They, they both show the same time, just a different way. So when we're talking about o'clock, we can write it where we just write the number and then the words o'clock, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if we were right seven, we write O and then an apostrophe. That's how we write O clock if we were writing it in words. Or we can write it like how we would see it on a digital clock. So we do the seven and then dot, dot. All of the O clocks are zero, zero because that's the start of the hour. So from there, it's it would be seven and then if it went tick, 701, 702, 703, 704. So every time it clicks, it ticks, it is going up a minute on this. But when we start the hour, we're starting the hour at zero, zero, o'clocks, right? So o'clock is dot, dot, zero, zero. So that's what this section is going to have us practicing today. So they say, draw the hands on the clock face and then write the number on the other clock. So we're going to write it, we're just going to be practicing writing different ways. Number one is done for us. Let's look at number two. It's five o'clock. So every time I see o'clock, I know my big hand is pointing all the way up to the 12. So make sure that when you draw your big hand, you're making it bigger, right? You don't want to, you want it to be easy to see. So it goes up, pointing all the way up to the 12, and then your smaller, your hour hand is gonna be pointing to the five. Okay, so you draw the hands on the clock, just like we did in the last section, and now you're, we're going to be writing in the time. So we take the five. They already did the dot, dot for us, so all we need to do is do zero, zero. 
So here we have five o'clock shown three different ways. Same thing for number three. We're gonna draw 12 o'clock. Okay, so my o'clock means minute hand all the way up. Well, the hour's 12 too. That means my other hand also needs to point that way. So when I draw that, I'm gonna kind of make it look like a both hands, they're like on top of each other. Let's see if I can get mine up there. So on my clock here, you see both hands are facing at the same thing. So they're on top of each other. So when you draw it, it's going to look like they're on top of each other as well. And then you're going to write in the time, 12 o'clock. Okay. So for number four, we're gonna 11 o'clock. So we want our big hand going all the way to the 12 for the o'clock and our smaller hand pointing to the 11. And then we're gonna write in our time, 11 o'clock. Okay, easy peasy stuff. All right, so today you are going to work and you're gonna go on to page 717. And you're gonna do the same thing we just did. You're gonna practice on number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So all of those are the same. You're gonna, they show you the time in words and you're going to draw the hands and then write the time in the digital clock. So you're just going to fill them and they already have the dot dot. So you're just going to fill in the times just like we did on the other page. On the bottom number 11 says Mary writes a pattern. Then she erases some of the times. Write the missing times. So we have to think about what they're counting by here. So we got 6 to 8. So I'm going to start at 6 and count up to 8 to figure out what they're counting by. Hmm. 6, 8... They're counting by twos. So what would come after eight if you were counting by twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten, o'clock. And then two more than that, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So then when I get here, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, there's no such thing. You cannot go higher than twelve o'clock on a clock. After twelve o'clock, you start all over and you go back to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three. So you don't go higher than 12 o'clock. So that means you're starting all over here. So this one cannot be 14 o'clock. It has to, you have to look at the clock. And if you are at 12, think about if you went around two hours. One hour. Two hours. What time is that? Hmm. Okay, so just fill in that last time in our pattern. Okay. Over on the back, you have some word problems practicing this. It says, Raul starts riding his bike at 1 o'clock. He rides for one hour. What time does he stop? Draw the hands on the clock face and then write the time on the other clock. All right, so one hour, 1 o'clock. After 1 o'clock comes, 2 o'clock. So you just need to draw those hands and then fill in the time, okay? Number 13, Lucy reads for one hour. She stops reading at 10. So that's why we gotta pay attention now. She stops at 10. So they wanna know what time she started. So this time, we're not just going up an hour, we're going back an hour. So what is the hour before 10? Hmm, that's what time she started. So you're going to draw the hands and write in the number right here. Okay, number 14, David goes to bed two hours before his mother. His mother goes to bed at 11. So you're going to have to start at 11 and go backwards two hours. So 11 minus 2, and you're going to write that time in that clock. Number 15, Maribel washes dishes after 6 o'clock and before 9 o'clock. Which clock shows a time that she might wash dishes? So when you're looking at it, it's gonna be after the six o'clock, but before nine. So it's gotta be something in between here. So you just choose the clock that makes the most sense. Okay, hey, on page 719, you're doing the same thing that we started out doing on the first pages. When you draw the hands, write the time. Right. So that's nice and easy. And on the back, you are drawing lines to match. So this is a matching one. 
So we have to look at the clock that they're showing, figure out what time is it. Okay, well, the, my big hand's at the 12, so it's an o'clock, and my hour hand's at the 1, so that's 1 o'clock. So which one shows 1 o'clock? Say this one. So that's what they mean by matching. So you're going to draw the line. You're going to pick the one that shows the right time and draw a line to it. Pick the one that shows the right time and draw a line to it. Number seven, write a good time for eating dinner. So around what time do you eat dinner? What o'clock, right? So maybe you eat at 5.30. Well, for this, we're not doing 30s yet. We're just doing hours. So around which hour? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Whatever you pick, you're going to draw the hands right in the time and then write it in right here. And number eight, look at the time on the clock face. So we're looking at this one. That's what this is called, by the way. They call this a face. So this clock, our analog clock, has hands and a face. So it's got human parts. <laughs> so these are the hands, and this whole front piece of it is the face. So they want us to look at the clock face. Which clock does not show the same time? Choose all that apply. So I want to look at this clock and see what, hmm, what time is it? And then I'm going to look, which ones do not show that time? So, hmm, hmm, hmm. there can be more than one answer here, and there are. Only one of those actually shows the correct time. The other three do not show the right time. So your job is to find it. Right. All right. Good luck with this. If you need extra help, just let me know, and I'm happy to help you. But I think you'll be just fine with this, right? We're just doing our o'clocks, and we, we are superstars at math and at everything we do. I'm so proud of you guys. But I'm here to help you if you need it. Good luck.